Pockets and stone washes, belt loops and jeans. Denim is one of our favorite things. Before jeans became the first thing most of us grabbed to put on in the morning, it was considered taboo for women to even wear trousers. Fast forward to modern times, and women's denim brings in over $8 billion globally per year. At Distilled in Los Angeles, a master pattern maker is the one responsible for getting the perfect cut of denim. He creates the patterns that are used to cut out each individual part of the jeans. Once the patterns have been completed, it's time to make the cut. Careful, that cutter is so sharp that it can cut through 150 to 200 layers of denim at once. The individual pieces are bundled together in a neat package and transported to the sewing room. Chain stitch, overlock, top stitch, whip stitch, flat felled seam. It's the thread that holds it all together and sewing these seams is no simple task. Some of these machines take three to four years to learn properly. That's like denim college. This felled seam machine joins the two sides of your jeans with the caballo stitch. Belt loops are attached with a single needle edge seam. A thicker seam is called a safety stitch. It allows areas to stretch without ripping easily, like your hips. The final piece holds it all up, the waistband. Up until the early 1970s, all jeans were made of raw cotton, which is stiff, coarse, and doesn't allow for much movement. These days, there's a wash, stretch, and shape for every style you can imagine. Washing the denim tightens the yarn, softens it, and makes sure the indigo doesn't bleed onto your skin or shoes. But before any washing is actually done, nowadays the jeans go through a process called hand sanding. Here, the indigo yarns are sanded away by hand to reveal the non-dyed ones. What's left behind are called whiskers, those cool line designs that end up on your knees and thighs. After the whiskering, the jeans go through at least two washes to bring down the color. One of these washes is a stone wash. Thousands of stones are layered on top of the jeans. Only two to three gallons of water per pound of jeans is utilized. What started as inexpensive workwear has become, well, fancy. These days, premium denim is often deconstructed thread by thread, shot with shotgun pellets, sanded with a warp brush, distressed with a Dremel tool. They're then sprayed with potassium acid, which expedites the removal of the indigo dye the denim turns pink when it comes into contact with the chemical. After the potassium spray, there's one final neutralizing wash, one last dry, and now they just need the finishing touch. You've got your favorite jeans ready to go. Thanks for watching Refinery29. For more videos like this, click here. To subscribe, click here.